On their visit to HMS Collingwood, it's unlikely that these Japanese cadets would have imagined wearing these orange helmets and hanging from ropes. But that's exactly what they've been tasked to do. This apparatus used for leadership and communication training is a common sight for any cadet in the Royal Navy. But for these Japanese students, well, it's something completely and utterly new. And so far, they seem to be getting on pretty well. OK, I may have spoken too soon there. These exercises can be difficult to complete, especially in the time allocated, although not everyone thinks so. It's easy. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> There is nothing like, like this in Japan and uh, it, is, it was very, very difficult and he hoped to bring this back to Japan. Just form a circle around me. The 180 cadets from the Japanese warships are in Portsmouth for three days and have a jam-packed timetable from the history of the Royal Navy to this, a tour of the weapon systems they use. The language barrier was a problem, um, but with guns, really, we tell them to aim and shoot. Uh, and where they got the hands-on experience and with the virtual reality trainer it's very realistic and uh, yeah they seem to enjoy it very much. Here is like yeah, it's like same like school is also in Japan but uh, there's here is more te high technology so it is very impressive me. Very difficult I, I felt uh, I, it's the first time to, <laughs> to shoot guns so I am very surprised. It's um, very difficult to fire and take. It's been um, it's been really different. It's it's good. It's good to see um, cadets from different nations coming in and uh, enjoying what we're doing. Of course, it wouldn't be the military without their daily fizz. We share a common maritime heritage. Our navy, the Japanese navy, goes back many hundreds of years, and it's great for our youngsters to see a little bit of a, how another navy operates. The day finished off with a barbecue before the cadets had to return to their ships to continue with their five-month deployment, visiting all the navies from around the world. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, HMS Collingwood.